to a new video of Hans exclusive. So today we're continuing the upgrade of this Traxxas TRX6 and we're going to upgrade uh, the power system. Uh, we're going to install the Hobbywing um, Quick Fusion uh, all-in-one ESCM motor brushless. So we are upgrading from the brushed system the Traxxas come with to a brushless system. And we definitely want to give it a go to this all-in-one system. Should be much easier to install, less wiring, um, and uh, should provide quite a good amount of power and definitely improvement to the original system. To do this, we need to follow uh, a few steps. So first of all, we need to remove the original uh, ESCM motor, and we'll have to find a way to um, undo all the wiring from the receiver all the way to the speed controller effectively. We're gonna need uh, a couple of tools, uh, 1.5 and two millimeter hex, which is pretty standard. Uh, most likely we will need a scissor to remove some of the cable ties uh, that we'll find along the way. And that should be pretty much it. To remove the speed controller, just two screws here, and then we'll find the way uh, to route this ESC cable into the receiver. So we'll have to open the receiver box up here and find which one of the various cables in here is the one for the speed controller. And then to remove the motor, we'll have to undo these three screws here. Uh, let me point them to you. So it's one, two, and three. And these three screws are gonna enable us to lift the motor up. And then we'll have to remove the um, motor mount and then install it into the new motor. So let's get started and start undoing the speed controller and opening the ready box. Okay, so as you remove this, be very careful because there is a seal and it's very important you maintain this seal um, integral and in position as if you uh, lose the seal, then the ready box will not be uh, waterproof ever again. Uh, note here there's some grease. So again, this is very important that you keep an eye on this because uh, once you put it back together, this should be sealed and greased up again to prevent water from entering the radio box. So there's a very important step to not forget later on. So here we've opened the radio box. We, now we're going to find the ESC wire. So to do so, we need to somehow get some movement. So maybe we remove the speed controller here. Okay, generally speaking, the second channel is for the speed controller or the gas in general. So let's remove channel two. So here you're going to have two channel one, I believe, in this receiver. And the channel two should be the third one up here, So which is this one here. So carefully, let's carefully lift this one out. There we go. Here we go. That should be your uh, speed controller. So now we need to find a way to... Pull this out from here. There we go. Now this is a bit tricky, so just be gentle here. There we go. So let's go back to through here. Pull on this side. So this is a very tight space here. So at this point, we can get the pipe to go through the little outlet here. So what we're going to have to do is going to have to lift the radio tray. Uh, just two screws here should be sufficient. Uh, to get to the screws, they hold the servo, the two little servo, um, this servo here. So one screw here. We should just need to lift the servo tray briefly to unhook this uh, servo lead and screw just under here there we go so, so we lift the servo tray so we can easily now pull out the ESC lead here there is actually a cable tied to cut under here there we go so your servo is out your ESC is out so we can leave this hanging. Okay, so let's leave this here for a second. So the next step is to remove the motor. So to remove the motor, you need to undo three screws, the two millimeters. So the two millimeter hex is all you need. 
three screws are out so this part is gonna come out like this and the motor and here we go it's the motor and speed controller we're gonna do with a 1.5 millimeter hex you're gonna remove the pinion there you go the pinion we pack it here for a second then we're gonna remove the motor mount now it should all fit back in the same position so is a C here and a third hole on the top so make sure you Keep that in mind so we can park this aside and we can move it implementing the new motor which should fit quite nicely down here here we go so to do so I'm going to apply to install this one again see perfect okay so we can reinstall the pinion so make sure you have the screw of the pinion does have some thread lock so the wasp will come loose as you as you as you drive and then we can set this in here here we go the mesh should be still fine nothing has really changed we can put back the cover like so here we go so now gonna have to route all this wiring so this will be good this will go straight here so that's easy now the battery the switch we'll have to find a spot for the switch somewhere here to be quite convenient or we can find a spot perhaps somewhere else and then the ESC um, won't need to go underneath the battery tray anymore the connection to the receiver we'll have to route it through the same route of your servo like this now you will need an extension lead so that will be here cool so what we can do now is reinstall back the two servo the servo tray here. okay so all right so this is good like this so the next step is to put an extension lead here to get back into the receiver box. This is slightly too short. So here is our extension lead, which I do recommend to shrink wrap to waterproof it a bit better because obviously this is not been long enough. Um, there's no waterproofing uh, within the receiver box. So this goes through here. I'll have to pass it through under here again. So we can close this off again. Okay, this is a very important step. Make sure that all the wiring are flat down here. Then you can close it again. Okay, the last thing we need to do is to put some double side tape to uh, sit down the switch so something like that so grab some good quality double side tape get a piece of it this should be all quite clean because the cut is new if not make sure you give it a good clean and the excess wiring here that should be fine and we can stick this one down here get a good press off we go should be good so this should complete the installation couple of things we still need to do is to connect find a power supply for your light system and um, set the endpoints on the radio which you can do in two ways you can use your uh, button the button sequence or you can use a Bluetooth uh, module which makes it a lot faster and a lot easier uh, so setting the endpoints and then we need to calibrate and uh, tune the motor most likely we'll have to reverse it to calibrate and prepare the motor you can use a program card like this uh, and that will be quite straightforward. So we'll, uh, we'll have a separate video on how to use this program card. Otherwise, as you see, upgrading the motor uh, on your TRX4 or TRX6 is very much straightforward. This is a special TRX6 uh, exclusive 
edition that we are preparing and that will go for sale in, in the coming months with uh, some upgrades and therefore um, this is one of the major steps turning into brushless this will be quite nice and fun car so thank you for watching make sure you comment below on any suggestion that you may have to prepare this car and we'll be more than happy to respond to you thank you for watching